Alright, well, it does look like the stream, in fact, died for a second there. Not sure what's going on. I wonder if Restream's having issues. I mean, I think it's still technically in beta, but... Anyway, uh, at least we should be streaming back now, uh... But, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna go. I'll edit the actual video later, if necessary. Blah, flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. And the sneaky guys that can actually swim underwater. I don't, I can't do that, though. Now, these guys are always tough to get underneath these things. Uh, so you kind of have to, like, grenade them in just, this, just the right way. Oh, that's, that's definitely not the right way. <laughs> I'm sorry, hostage. Oh, shoot. I will say, too, if you die at all, you, uh, lose your gun power-up. Which, you know, I guess technically that makes sense. Uh, yeah, now I had to restart the stream. I'm not sure what was going on. Uh, it's like I lost connection to restream for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to wonder if uh, a lot of my streaming issues are because of restream. I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to, uh, investigate the issue thoroughly, but the problem is, is it's difficult to figure out why my setup is messed up. Because, like, it's, it could be any number of things, you know? It's hard to tell what exactly the problem is. No. I'm actually doing pretty good on this level, though. I think I've only died a couple times. It's hard to keep track of, though. It's, you die so easily in this game. Just like real war, right? <laughs> it's like the most realistic war game ever. Oh no, sneaky guys in the water. Yeah, I'm still showing I'm having trouble connecting to Twitch. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what do you mean you're using a different internet? Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. Never mind. You know, oh god, I almost just blew that guy away. Rescue and more rescue. I will save all the hostages except for all the ones that I brutally murdered. Oh, what's that dude with the snorkel doing up there? I don't know, he's kind of sketchy. Eh. Eh. So many bullets that the game is lagging. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get this guy now. I'm gonna... Just a little bit. Ah, perfect! Now I can just run in and save this dude. Everything's better. So the red-shirted guys are, of course, more powerful than the green-shirted guys. Everybody takes one hit to kill in this game, including you, which, again, pretty realistic for a war game. But the red guys can usually have better weapons or better tactics. They don't kind of just run at you blindly like the uh, green-shirted guys do most of the time. Ugh. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we'll see. Is that the last game over I can get? No? Okay, we're still doing good. I mean, like I said, it doesn't matter because of the infinite continues, but... Alright, well, it looks like Twitch is back online. Hmm. Yeah, I will say, so, uh, part of the thing I'm gonna do over Christmas break is see if I can try to, uh, you know, upgrade my, uh, setup here a little bit. So that hopefully it won't have so many issues. Eh. Eh. Hey, I did it. Basically, the B uh, doesn't upgrade my bullets, actually. It uh, makes my grenades have a bigger range of effect. So that's actually a pretty good one to get. Uh, uh, I'm having to focus down, like, trying not to get hit because I don't want to lose my continues. Not that it matters, but I mean, t I still don't want to just die a bunch. I mean, <laughs> I still want to do well, even with the infinite continue trick. Eh. F. It's really like giving me F this time. Uh, I guess I can make a bad joke about that. <laughs> Come on, Che. Just keep chugging through this, and one day you'll get your very own t-shirt. I guess this water's too deep to swim through. Oh yeah, this is uh, the boat boss. This one always gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Alright, boat boss, because it's just like, Oh, I'm just going to spawn a ton of dudes! And I can't hit them. Ah, dang it. Eh, 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 eh. This game would be so much easier as a twin stick shooter, instead of like the old school type of shooter. It was originally based on an arcade game, so I'm not sure what the arcade game was like. I've never actually played it. Maybe I should at this point. Now this game, uh, surprisingly got a ton of different ports besides just the NES one. I mean, the NES is the one I know because that's the one I played. 
but, you know, it originally started out with an ar arcade game. I think it got put on, like, the Commodore 64, and, like, it had some other weird ones, too, and they're all slightly different. But, like I said, this is the version I'm familiar with, so it's the version I'll be playing. Not entirely sure how long it's going to take me to beat. I remember it being relatively short, like, you can beat it in one sitting. So, I would be surprised if it took me longer than three hours. Uh, but of course I said that last time with, uh, <laughs> Toeful Boyfriend, and look how that turned out. But we'll see. I mean, I'm not too super worried about beating this one in one night. Ah. See, this guy's a badass, but he's a boss, though, so it's okay. Ah. Ah, no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ah, shoot, he hurt me. He hurt me good. Yes. Watch him. Oh, okay, of course. He was only two hits away from death. Alright. Alright. Oh, wait, is that not it? Okay. Ah, Jesus. Alright, this guy has, like, the super easy pattern. You can just sit here and grenade him. He can't shoot you. Ah, exploitable boss tactics. How we miss you. Nowadays, you can't really do crap like this anymore, huh? <laughs> you have to actually, like, you know, be strategic and things. Yeah, I did it. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay. Oh, well, now I can't stand in the sweet spot. Or maybe I can. Let's see. Aha! Actually, this is an even more sweet spot because I can hit them with bullets and grenades. If only I thought about that earlier. Yeah, we did it. We're gonna save not Cuba from the not Batista. You have broken through the first enemy base. The enemy's offense gets stronger and stronger if you destroy. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I didn't need to read that anyway. I mean, who cares about mission briefings, right? <laughs> it's not important. Yeah, see, they surrendered. But then they shoot me again. What jerks? See? We're good, right? Nope. I wish there was a way to, like, capture them after they get surrender. I don't know. I do feel bad about killing a surrendering enemy. <laughs> but, I mean, they've proven time and time again that they're liars. Alright, let me try to, uh, get all these guys before I get in the tank. Because the tank can get destroyed, actually, after you take damage. So there's a time limit you can be in the tank, and if it takes so many bullets, every bullet reduces the time that you can be in it longer. So I like to try to uh, stay in it as long as possible, because tanks are awesome! I mean, why would I not be in the tank, right? Eh, eh. Ah, this is the train level. I remember this is where it starts getting tough. I remember, uh, there's some pretty, pretty fun stuff coming up, though. I guess I don't want to spoil it yet, but, yeah, surprisingly good game, even if it is a little politically, uh, <laughs> sketchy. What's L? Okay, L's good. I'll stick with L. Yeah, it's weird because, you know, in, we've learned because of Contra, it's like, the spread shot is now iconically the best type of weapon in these sort of games, but in this game, actually, I don't think the spread shot is the best. Because the spread shot is normal bullets, whereas if you get the other ones, it actually upgrades your bullets, so... Uh, I tend to like the missile-based powers better in this one. Especially with all these, like, uh, helicopters and enemy tanks and whatnot. Boosh! Yeah, so you don't want to be in that when it explodes. It's a general, general life lesson, kids. Don't be in exploding tanks. Not, not a good spot. Uh, taking lots of damage on this one. No. I wonder if anybody's actually keeping track of my deaths. Maybe I should, like, if I go back and watch the video. That's another thing, too. Uh, ever since Nano a couple months ago, I've been really behind on doing the, uh, like, timestamps and highlights and stuff for my video. So I'm gonna actually try to work on that, too, in these next couple weeks. Go back and uh, catch up on all the videos I'm behind on. So I think there are some pretty good highlights in the videos that I've stream that I just haven't actually made highlights out of. I don't know, if any of you guys are actually watching this video, feel free to uh, make recommendations for which highlights I should make as a separate video. Although Twitch now has a way you can make your own personal highlights. Ah! <laughs> I am dead. Che Guevara is dead. Caster's not even in this fight this time. Uh, uh, uh. Now, in the American version, I guess they changed it to, uh, American soldiers, of course, because, you know, of course they did. I've never read the instruction manual for this, though. We got, we got this used at a game.
game store back in the day. Oh, oh. Yeah. Just mowing down tons of dudes. Up. Oh, yep. What the hell, Twitch? Uh, Alright, well, we're gonna take a, a quick break and try to uh, fix the stream. <laughs>